Hey friends, it's day four of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. Can you believe it? Day four of this two week raw food challenge. Let me know in the comments down below how you're doing on your monkey diet challenge. What are you eating? How are you feeling? Let us know the good, the bad, and the ugly. And let's all learn together. Today, I started the morning with um, a cleaning job. I had maybe a half a pound of grapes before I started, but it was not enough, friends. And I was feeling it about an hour into the cleaning, kind of regretting <laughs> not eating more. So one of the morals of the story is make sure that you are eating plenty. Uh, when we are eating raw foods, it's very natural to fill up quickly because they are very rich in water and fiber. So there's a lot of bulk in these foods that naturally fill up our stomachs and make us feel full. But because they are so full of water and more easily digested, especially fruit, it passes out of your system very quickly and therefore it can leave you feeling hungry sooner. What helps me is to graze throughout the day. Whenever I get hungry, I pop a couple handfuls of grapes I swish it down with some clean water, especially to clean those fruit sugars from my teeth to keep up on that dental hygiene. But today, guys, I felt like I felt like I was turning into a grape. <laughs> no matter how I ate my grapes, I was just kind of over it. So I had about a pound of those black grapes left over, and I um I literally could not bring myself to eat another one. Um, I did pick up some green grapes at the store today. I saved about a pound of those to start me off tomorrow morning, um, but I juiced the rest of those with the, the rest of the black grapes and I threw in a whole lemon. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a fabulous juice, but quite tart. Talk about astringent power, right? The lemon, the grapes, oh my gosh, pure hydration here. Um, lots of energy for my cells to really regenerate. So exciting. Um, so remember how I said in yesterday's video how I would mention if anything noteworthy happened last night at work? Well, something noteworthy happened at work last night. <laughs> um, I started to get some aches and pains. Now that might seem like a really odd and very random thing to get excited about, but when we are hydrating and alkalizing our bodies on this level and we start to feel those aches and pains, you know what that really is? That is your lymph hydrating and starting to move out of those areas. So last night, it started with a couple very short dizzy spells. Again, just have not been eating quite enough and I have a fairly physical job. Um, I put in about 8,000 steps last night during a four hour shift and that was a pretty slow night and I'm grateful for that. I'm so grateful for that. Uh, but so a couple dizzy spells, nothing real crazy. They passed very quickly and I had a Ziploc bag of grapes in my fanny pack so I could pop a few of those whenever I was feeling low. And I also made sure to have a water bottle with me and drinking plenty of water helped um, immensely. But I noticed that I was starting to get some pain in my right eye and then the left eye, followed by some pain in the sinus area, and then it traveled to my right ear, and then randomly my left kidney started hurting. So <laughs> but this is wonderful, friends. These are all great signs that you're hydrating and you're starting to move lymph. Now, if these kinds of purging symptoms become too intense, let me know. Um, send me a message on my website if you ever have questions about your healing crisis. It is so very easy to misunderstand and misinterpret these symptoms by the body. But as soon as you understand what your body is really doing and what it's asking for, the mystery is solved and there's nothing to fear. So um, that was my noteworthy changes that I noticed last night. And I'm really, really grateful that my body is starting to dig into this lymph. I have also been coughing up a fair amount of um, junk, if you will. And again, really grateful for the purging symptoms that my body is going through. So today we're going to talk about variety. I want to make sure that you are staying excited on this raw food challenge. For anyone new 
to raw food eating, it can be a change, right? We're so used to cooking and seasoning and marinating our foods. Guys, I can't even talk about food right now. <laughs> um, but we're so used to these highly, highly stimulating foods, right? And suddenly when we go back to the basics and we're eating lots of raw, fresh foods, our bodies and our taste buds have to um, adjust to there not being these stimulating um, constituents like salt, oil, sugar, caffeine, alcohol, right? And suddenly we're paying attention to the natural sugars and the natural sodium in fruits and vegetables and really appreciating the, the natural flavors that Mother Nature has to offer. Now, with that said, um, if you are not limiting yourself to some kind of mono fast, like what I'm doing here with the grapes, um, you have so much variety, so much variety, friends. If you get burnt out on one type of fruit, turn to another. Um, if, if you want, blend your fruits together. Some fruits don't combine well, and we can certainly talk about that, but um, you know, make yourself a really good smoothie. Throw together a big, beautiful salad and throw in lots of fresh vegetables. Um, throw in some sprouts and make yourself a delicious raw dressing. There's so many options. But even if you are doing some kind of mono fast, like just eating grapes, you can still have plenty of variety. There are plenty of different colored grapes out there that will give you a different taste, a texture, a crunch, and you can always juice your grapes and you know throw in a little bit of lemon or if you want throw in a tiny bit of apple and that'll help kind of make things a little bit more mild um, there's so many options just because we have goals to be extra strict doesn't mean that we should stop listening to our bodies we always have to listen to our bodies and honor where they're at right now this this entire challenge whether you're eating fruits and vegetables, whether you're eating just fruits, I don't care. If you're coming from a standard American diet, even if you're coming from a plant-based diet, this can be a challenge. And that's the point, right? We're here to step outside of our comfort zone and to see what we're made of, but still have some grace and compassion for your body because your body is doing a lot of hard work and heavy lifting right now. So if you have to pull back ever so slightly, that is okay. It's just another choice, friends. There's nothing right or wrong about it. It's just a different choice. So make sure that you guys are keeping plenty of variety in your diet. Have lots of fresh fruits and vegetables on hand. And if you are mono mealing it, know that you still have options available to you. Alrighty, that's it for today, friends. Thanks again for joining me for day four of Dr. Morse's Monkey Diet Challenge. I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. Good night.